good morning to the students today we will discuss question 4 of exercise 7.1 so question 4 is n and m these are two parallel lines n and m these are two parallel lines intersected by another pair of parallel lines p and q see l and m these are two parallel lines intersected by two another pair another pair of two parallel lines that is p and q these are two parallel lines n and l and m are two parallel lines. Show the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. So first of all, where is triangle ABC? ABC. This is triangle ABC and CDA. CDA. This is another triangle. And we have to show that both of these triangles are congruent. So we have discussed how many rules. First was SAS, then ASA, then AAS, and then SSS. These. Four rules that were of congruency. Now, first of all, see that in both of the triangles, AC is the common side. I can see AC is the common side of these two triangles. So I can write solution in triangle ABC and triangle CDA. AC is equal to AC. That is. Okay. Now we have one side. We can apply SAS if we have one more side and one more angle. We can apply ASA if we have two more angles that are equal. We can apply AAS and we can apply triple S also. Now see, if these two lines are parallel, L and M, and this is a transversal line that is cutting. So I can say this angle will be. Or you can say, sorry, if these two lines are parallel, see, these two lines are parallel, and this is a transversal line. So you can say this angle will be equal to this angle, and relation is alternate interior angle. So I can say this angle will be equal to this angle. So in particular, from this triangle, angle B A C. So B C A will be equal to in triangle C D A and the C A D. I have this side common. Then I have this angle common. This pair by alternate interior angles. Now come to third condition. I have one angle. I have one side. Now what do I need? I need night. I need Either side or angle. Now, P and Q are also parallel. L and M are parallel, and one more thing is P and Q are two parallel lines. See very carefully from this side. If these two lines are parallel, P and Q, these two lines are parallel, and this is the transversal line. I am drawing here. This is P and Q. This is the transversal line. So I can say this angle will be equal to this angle. And this angle is, in particular, this figure. This angle is this, and this angle is this. So I can say I'm drawing these two figures, and for your clarity now, I can say angle BAC is equal to angle ACD. So reason is alternate interior. Now, see very carefully. In this particular triangle, you have this angle, this angle, and this side. Angle, side, angle. This is the included side. Same way, in this particular triangle, you have this angle, then this side, and then this angle. Angle, side, angle. So you can easily say that triangle ABC is congruent. Triangle CDA and relation is by ASA congruency rule. This was all about question number four. Just main thing that not you have to notice. You have to analyze the given figure only. In geometry, important point is we have to analyze what is given figure, and from figure we can derive the relations, and from that. 
relations with the help of these 